I got some sad news, man. As you can tell by the title, man. It's done, dude. I don't know. After all these years just grinding, man. I just thought it was... It's the end, dude. I don't know. I don't see this going anywhere, honestly. And this is honest. I never expected to make this video. Man. Nah, I'm just kidding, dude. All of you guys just got pranked, man. Nah, I'm just joking, but... Uh, 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 the reason I'm saying goodbye to YouTube and the why I'm tired on this video, I meant to say goodbye YouTube streaming because that's what I'm gonna kind of like leave behind. You know, I'm not gonna stream on YouTube anymore. I'm moving on to better and brighter things, man, which is Twitch. So I was actually thinking about this many times, man. I thought about it so many times, and I've seen a lot of streamers and smaller streamers, bigger streamers make the same move. And basically switch over to Twitch because Twitch is obviously meant for streaming. It's made way better. Like notifications never mess up. So it's basically that's what it's for. That's a whole website dedicated to streaming. Obviously, I don't have to just teach you guys what it is. But on YouTube, man, I just run into so many problems on YouTube. They're like, I'm just starting a live stream and I'm out here. Notifications don't send out. And I'm not trying to sound like I'm complaining about notifications don't not sending out because I find it really annoying when people are on Twitter or something like complaining about it. They're like, oh my God, do I hate YouTube? My notifications that they send out. I'm about to end my stream or I'm going to delete my video and re-upload it tomorrow. Like that's probably one of the most annoying things I see. It's like so petty, dude. You uploaded a video, just keep it, man. Who cares notifications didn't send out? You really try to like make the videos just like in that. Ah, damn, I just lost what I was trying to say. But you guys get the point. People out here are getting so salty over that. And obviously... It is really annoying and demotivating, honestly, when you realize it's clearly on YouTube's end. And it's really noticeable. If you are at least a small streamer or YouTuber, you can understand what I'm talking about. Because everybody experiences that. Like, I used to think that people were just over-exaggerated. But as I started streaming more, I started experiencing more myself. And how you notice it the most is when you start a stream, there's people who have notifications on. And they automatically, within like a minute or like 30 seconds, there's at least a couple people that swarm in. Even if you're a small streamer. Like for my streams, it's normal for me as soon as I start a stream that I have like 10 people swarm in right away. And be like, first, first, or what's up, Knockbound, blah, blah, blah. But when I go live and there's one minute goes by, two minutes go by, three, four, five, ten, like sometimes like the most I had was I think like 20 minutes, dude, and not a single viewer came in. And then when people finally come in because they found out like through my Discord that I went live or because I, I'll, I'll say it in my Discord, hey guys, I'm going live. They'd be like, hey, dude, what the heck? I don't even see you live streaming. Like, I don't even see it in my subscription feed or I don't even see that. Like, I didn't even get a notification and stuff like that. And obviously when I hear that stuff, it's like, come on, man, what the heck was wrong with YouTube? I had many people comment on my channel saying, dude, your videos don't even get recommended to me. Like, I'm subscribed to you. I don't even see your videos in a subscription feed. I actually have to look up your name separately in the search bar and go to your channel and make sure if you have uploaded or not and honestly when i hear that kind of stuff i'm like dude are you kidding me dude like come on youtube like why can you fix this stuff and i emailed youtube and contacted them but they said there's no problems they said everything's fine with my channel they said everything's working fine but let's be honest man it's not true because there's no way there's like thousands of youtubers have the same exact problem and some bs is happening with notifications and videos not being recommended and as you guys know my channel used to do really good a couple months ago last year actually like around the summer times uh my channel did really good like my channel was growing and i was getting 100 subscribers a day i was getting like a 2000 like 3000 plus views per video and i don't know where it just stopped man and it just dropped so noticeable like it was so noticeable that my channel like views and everything just got cut in not even 50 percent like more like 80 or like 70 percent and it just disappeared i was like what the hell happened you know one 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 week or like one month i'm getting like 100 subscribers a day next month boom it drops i'm like barely getting 10 subscribers a day and like barely even close to like 500 views per video and honestly i don't know what happened and then people coming into my channels commenting saying they don't even see my videos anymore and all this stuff and there's a lot of other stuff that i can name off but uh, that's basically the reason i want to focus my youtube channel just making videos and i don't want to spam gameplays again obviously if i get a crazy gameplay or something crazy on, on twitch while i'm live streaming i'll try to save it and upload it but i want to come up with more original ideas i want to actually come up with something entertaining maybe and also i was talking with about this with striking thunder he kind of brought this idea back because i used to do this back in call of duty days uh i used to have some kind of topic i would talk about like title that my video and just have call of duty gameplay in the background maybe talk about call of duty maybe talk about like now since fortnite is such a big game there's always 
stuff to talk about and i can just basically talk about what i think about the game or what's going on something got added and like my opinions on it and just stuff like that and striking also said it too he's like opinionated videos are usually the ones that like the most interesting to for people to watch because gameplays let's get on let's let's be honest man fortnite has been out for a year and everything that can possibly be done in this game has been done obviously when the new items come something crazy will happen somebody does something and boom it's it that's it after a couple of days everybody forgets about the item nobody cares about it that's why epic is trying really hard to keep new items in the game so the game is always new and fresh and doesn't become stale you know like the block like all this stuff events happening i'm really happy they're doing it but i'm just giving you guys an example that there's some content to talk about and like opinionated stuff you know like i can discuss what i think about fortnite like adding stuff p fortnite like like nerfing planes nerfing shields what i think it, uh, about competitive fortnite stuff like that like some small things like come up because on twitter there's always some news talking about it like something's going on so i want to focus more on that and maybe some funny content i'll make once in a while like i have like a funny video idea come to my head and i just write it down and try to make a video about it so yeah, I just don't definitely want to start doing that, man, because I want my channel to be more clean. I don't want it to be spammed with like just like snippets of my live streams all the time. So I don't know. We'll see uh, how Twitch is going to go. Obviously, I don't expect my Twitch streams to be like crazy different or different or anything. So depends on uh, how long I'm going to be doing. Hopefully by the end of this year, I'll notice some kind of a difference in like viewership and stuff. So definitely go check out i'm actually leave the link in the description for my twi uh, twitch all it is is just same username as like my psn and my youtube channel so it's not really that hard to find my channel it's kind of cool that i made a twitch account like a while ago so nobody really stole my name you know so i got the og knock bump over there so go look up my name follow me on there turn the notifications on i like i said guys i don't know how far this is gonna go how big i'm gonna get on twitch even if it doesn't grow man it's better than doing on YouTube because honestly, YouTube notifications and like YouTube's algorithm is a kind of broken in my opinion. So just trying something new and see how far that goes. So yeah, guys, hopefully it goes well. I don't know. And this year, maybe we get to like a thousand followers, but I feel like that's too much. But if whoever sees this video, man, guys, and if you watch my videos, you guys like stopping by my streams or even watching my videos, I would appreciate if you guys can still go and like drop a follow there, man. And because I don't want to start live streaming on Twitch again and have like one person watching because my first Twitch stream, dude, I only had like two or three people watching, dude. And then even one day left, there was like zero viewers and it was like all I, I was streaming to freaking uh, like a choir of crickets, man. There was just like nothing, nobody, man. Obviously, I've streamed like that before when I first started streaming Fortnite, when first night was first blowing up. I actually streamed to like one viewer. Sometimes I had zero viewers. I just sat there and played the game, man, because I enjoyed it. And I enjoy streaming and just like having a setup and everything. That's the fun. That's where I get the most fun. Obviously, the viewers, when they come along, that's also an add-on. And also, it makes me happy to seeing viewers and supporters. But hopefully, I see you guys there, man, on Twitch. Definitely go follow me there. And yeah, guys. So, this is me saying goodbye to YouTube streaming. Hopefully, I'll never have a reason to come back to YouTube streaming. I feel like I'll be better off with Twitch streaming, man. So, I don't know, guys. Wish me luck. And yeah, thank you for watching. Peace out.